Hello there and welcome back to another tutorial here on Ark Survival Ascended. Today we're going to be building another A-frame. I already did a tutorial for a simple A-frame. Today we're going to make that design but a little bit more complicating. Add another part of the build with another A-frame and connect them all together. So you can definitely either combine the builds or use this to build a little village for yourself with multiple different A-frame designs. At the end, of course, we'll do a little walkthrough of what the inside looks like and I'll also show you the coordinates of the location that I'm building this in. And you can let me know what kind of tutorial you would like to see next. Maybe the big A-frame that I have for my ocean base. To get started, you will need a platform to build on. Make it 10 by 14. So 14 long, 10 wide and then we'll have a little extra bit connected to it three in and then go three out eight long and three back in so three from the sides and that is what we need for this build so let's get started on some balls we do them two from the outside we'll place two walls like this so two from the side and two from the front uh, as a gap so that we can line it up and then on this side we'll do the same so two from all sides that's where you want to place your wall. Make sure you have the inside of the wall on the outside because I like that look for this. But if you really want the other look, you can go for that as well, of course. Um, so we'll just continue to make some of the wall shapes like so. So go for this kind of shape. Then we'll leave a, one gap at the end. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit. And then again, two from all sides. We'll place this. And then one gap and we'll continue the ball. We'll leave a two wide gap here for now because we're going to have a little addition over there. And then we'll continue the wall here again. One gap from the start. But then we can finish it off like this. So this part is going to be a little special. Uh, so we'll have a wall going out on this side as well. And that will be our little side building. And then we can have a two high actually. And we can even connect the sloped roof to it because we'll need that to make it fit in with the roof design. So that's the start of it. Then we're going to be working on the ends of the A-frame. We're going to have to build uh, three of these right now. So we'll start with the sloped wooden roof again on top of the walls we placed at all ends. Um, so we want to get the start of the A-frame going like this there we go and then basically to get ourselves an extra snap point for the roof so that we can have an overhang we're going to start these walls make sure you face them down in a normal orientation and then the second one and the fourth one need to be the other orientation you can do it like this replace them or if you're building a survival just switch them out every time you place them so first the normal one then the other variation and that goes for all these sides. So normal one, other variation, normal one, other variation. That's just so the walls all fit nicely into each other and you don't get like weird gaps anywhere. So you want to change them around every other wall. Um, it's a little bit of a hassle, but that makes it look the best. Then we want to have some quarter ceilings here uh, to help with the snap points and to fill in the rest of these little wall structures um they're not only helpful for the snap points they also just give the whole building a little bit more of a stronger foundation i'd say so again we're gonna have to place a little bit more of these quarter walls normal variation other variation uh, normal variation other variation normal variation other variation that's just the way we have to build these and then the quarter um ceilings as well here for the extra snap point that we'll need in a little bit there we go and then we'll fill in another wall here as well so normal variation uh alternate variation normal variation oh uh, not that way we all want to have the same wood at the outside so, so it looks a little bit nicer so normal variation other variation and there we go we should have done them all i think so then we'll place another sloped roof uh sloped wall here uh, make sure it faces the right way as well um 
and this is the part that we'll be using for the snap points for the roof in a little bit oh i forgot a part here so normal one variation normal one and a variation that should be all of them all right so let's continue with our slope walls just to make all of these the same so yeah i like to do these all at the same time because it's just easier to work on the same thing you know you don't have to think too much about it and you can't forget it and then we'll place a wall below it as well to finish off this little support structure and snap point helper and then you can actually place a full wall there or quarter walls to fill in the gap doesn't really matter what you do um we have the snap points that we need to work with and then you should have something looking like this um, then we can actually place in some of our gateways now uh, you want to snap these into the middle there's of course two variations or two places you can do this either facing uh, inward or outward i like to go for the variation that makes sure that i have more on the outside i think that adds a little bit of extra detail on the outside that i really like for this build i'm actually going to do gateways on both sides but you're free to do it uh, otherwise. I'll show you a different variation at the end. Okay, so we got our two gateways. We'll go along the side with some pillars, three high and on the other side as well. And then we'll connect them with beams so we can work around the rest of it with the structure. So we do the same on this side as well. And then we can get started on our uh, A-frame or on our greenhouse walls so you want to make sure that the light lighter green part is facing your way if you're on the inside so the darker green is on the outside and then we'll just finish the a-frame shape like this and then of course on top of here as well again making sure they face the right way and then we'll do the same on the other side as well so we'll start with the greenhouse walls and then we'll finish it off with the sloped greenhouse walls to get our a-frame all the way complete to the top and then basically we have the normal a-frame house but of course in this case we have um the other one as well here you want to start with some double doors and then you can have double doors on top you can also use normal walls on top if you like that more i just like the look of this making it look a little bit different and on this side we'll also do some double doors on the side and then for this you know will probably go for the um normal greenhouse wall but you can also use the uh double door if you want to it's just a preference because it gives you a little bit of a different look but both will work fine for this uh for this build and for this design is really whatever you like more okay then we can get started on the roof let's start here on the end we want to get the right snap point here so that we have an overlap of half a roof on the outside because you know that looks a little bit nicer let's get rid of this that's not supposed to be there um so first we'll do this um end bit because it's just nice to know where the roof ends and um nicer to line up the rest of the roof because of course we're gonna have to make a little corner turn here because we have an extra bit on the side so we'll start with that and then we'll um no, actually, we won't do the back side. We'll do that later. Let's focus on this side. We'll pretty much do the same on this bit. It's a little bit lower, of course, the roof, but that doesn't really matter. All we really need to worry about is first to get these snap points right. That's why we built those wooden supports. And then we need to figure out how to line it up correctly, because if we just connect it, it won't. So we need the overlap first and then a normal one. So it will line up nicely. So first overlap it. Uh, you might not be able to do that in official, so you might have to find a different way. Uh, but in this way, we can make a nice corner. Um, yeah, I, I don't get why you can't just overlap on official, because that would make building so much easier. So now we just want to make sure that the corner goes all the way to the top. And again, we have an overlap at the end. And we'll do one more level for this corner as well. So just go like this so that we are sure to have everything lined up. And the end bits are always going to be overlapping a little bit. And then we can finish this corner. So we should have a nice smooth corner on that side. 
Uh, you can actually start from the corner if you would want uh, so that you can easily line up the rest of the roof bits. It makes it a little bit more easy because you don't really have to think about anything and it should be all right. And this, it, the way we do it is just to ensure that we don't see any weird overlapping roof bits on the inside because, I mean, that doesn't really look that nice. And now we can just fill in the rest of the roof like so. And like so, so we'll always have the little overlap on the end, except of course for the top part because we don't actually need the overlap here because uh, we don't need to make a corner here. So we can just connect the roof normally without any problems at all. Uh, and then you might want to add like a window bit in the roof. I really like to do this because it provides some extra light inside your house. So in this case, I'll probably have a window like so, and I'll do the same on the other side just for a little bit of symmetry. Um, and yeah, again, the light is just really nice. We could even have some on the smaller roof like this. It would just be one window, but still just having the extra light come in is really nice, especially in Ascended. Okay, so we have half of the house done. Let's fill in some of these doors. So just stack them and then of course the normal the bottom ones we build enormous doors we have the gateways functioning as doors on the outside and on this side we'll also use these double doors as well okay and then we have another roof to build of course so again we'll start on the ends of the roof because it's just easier to work from there to the inside and to wherever we have a little bit of a more tricky situation but Again, this is very similar. We start lining it up against the side here and we'll have a little overlap on the end. So the same on the other side, just line it up with the walls. And then of course, let's place the end of the roof in because then we can't mess anything up. And then we can just line it up all the way, line it up with the sloped walls and we'll do the same, just connect it all the way and have the overlap at the end again. And that is actually all we need to do like this. And now we can just connect the roof normally like we would if there wasn't anything in the way. Oh God, the extra placement. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of that and let's connect the rest of the roof as well. Like so, very easily normal connections, no overlapping at all. And then we're pretty much done. And if you also want to add in some windows here, it's a little bit more tricky, but you can add in three over there. Let's do the same on the other side as well. Now, because of the way that we had to structure this roof, you can see they don't line up, but I don't mind this shape. I think that adds a little bit of interest to the roof, but uh, if you don't like it, of course, you can also change it and only have the three at the up uh, upper part. Let's do this roof as well. So for uh, metal ceilings to get started with, and of course, along the edge, we want to add some extra detail because otherwise, it would be a little bit boring. So we make this little overhang with these quarter ceilings as well. Just like that. And then we want to add in some pillars here because these two types of walls don't really connect that well. And we want to make sure they look their very, very best. Like so. And then we're pretty much done. We got this nice A-frame, plenty of space on the inside. Um, I'm not going to be doing the interior here in this video, but if you want to see interior, please let me know in the comments down below and I might make another video about that as well. So if you don't want to go for the gateway in your wall, it may be on one of the sides, you can go for this design. It's basically using the double doors. If you want to see how you do that, you can watch my other tutorial. This is the location where I built at this beautiful waterfall here. It's the same location basically where we did last tutorial as well, but I really love the look of this spot. The area is just so beautiful. So for the rest of the platform, I used these pillars, stairs and railings just to make it look a little bit better. And then have a two gap of ceilings before you have the building. And again, this is the interior. This is how much space you have to work with. You can decorate it however you like or whatever you're going to use the building for. I have a couple of connections on the outside as well with stairs going down to the world and um you know with these big dino gates on both sides it means you have easy access with your dinos as well if you want to bring in some resources after gathering examples 
Um, yeah, it just makes life a little bit easier. And I just love the fact that you have these walkways all around your house just to enjoy the view. You basically have a big, big balcony. Now, of course, I've got many other buildings in this style and I keep getting questions. I will be doing a tutorial for the big build and for the Dino Dogs at some point. Just need to find the right amount of time. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.